Hey everybody, it's Nick. Uh, wanted to share some current uh, thoughts and insight with you um, regarding a lot of the current events going on. Um, obviously, everyone's lives have been in fact impacted on some level. Um, after all, I'm coming to you from uh, my home office here. I know many of you are working from home as well. Um, so I wanted to share some thoughts and concerns um, about the daily disruptions we're having and the impact they're having on the real estate market. Uh, obviously, my mind goes very much to real estate. Uh, this is what I do full time. This is how I provide for my family. Um, so my thoughts are you know, looking to how it's going to impact the real estate market uh, in the short term and the long term. I'm uh, very um, thoughtful of my clients who are currently looking to sell a property, uh, purchase a property. And everyone I've talked to recently, many of you, um, about your plans to buy or sell real estate in the future. Uh, so I wanted to put together a few thoughts. Um, what I'm currently thinking and share them with you um, regarding the coronavirus and how that's impacting us. I'm not a medical professional. I'm not an uh, economist or a statistician. Um, I can't talk too, much, too broadly um, across the country, you know what this is going to look like, how our economy is going to be impacted. Um, in fact, I think a lot of the um, experts right now are struggling to come up with those same answers. Um, but what I do focus on is our local real estate market, um, and I focus on my customers and clients. Um, putting their interests first and personal service to them, you know, guiding them through real estate transactions. So that's what I focus on with my thoughts and uh, what I'm thinking. Uh, so you're well aware of how you know, this is impacting us each individually, our communities and society. Uh, I'm not going to rehash all those different changes, you know, the work from home, um, unfortunately some job losses uh, for anybody, but I'm not going to go through all those impacts there. I want to focus on what's not changed uh, in the world of real estate in our current market. Uh, people are still buying and selling homes. Uh, in the past seven days, uh, in local South Jersey market, Burlington, Camden, Gloucester, and Salem counties, there's been over 500 homes come on the market. Uh, over 400 homes have gone under contract um, during that same time as well in that same area. Uh, people are still out there. Buyers are buying. Sellers are selling. Um, sellers are going to continue to sell. Um, there's changes um, that are not necessarily affected uh, by needs one to the economy as a whole. Uh, but household changes, relocations, people who are in the middle of um, buying and selling a property, uh, people relocating to the area for work um, or re relocating throughout the area. There's still going to be buyers uh, who want to buy properties as well um, for the same things, household changes, um, additions to the family, um, marriages, all those reasons people purchase properties, leases are ending, um, buyers are reaching their financial goals, especially with tax returns coming in that will enable them to buy properties. Mortgage rates. Um, have very much been in the news recently. Um, in the past couple weeks, they've been up, they've been down. Um, there's been a lot of question marks. But actually, overall, during that period, they've still been at historic lows. Um, it's an amazing time to get a mortgage on a property, um, a great opportunity. We don't know where they're going to be in the future, but right now I can stay, even with this uh, little bit of up and down, um, has actually been relatively minor. It's still a great time to get a mortgage. Um, the other thing that hasn't changed is our lack of inventory. Um, there's still more buyers out there looking than sellers have houses for sale. Um, so that creates a seller's market and a great time to sell the home uh, because of the increased competition for the properties that are out there. And the biggest thing that hasn't changed is that real estate is an individual decision. Um, times when the market is up and doing great um, may not be the best time for you and your family. Times when things are looking terrible may be the best time for you and your household uh, to make a move in real estate. So I just wanted a reminder of that. Um, no matter what the market or the economy or conditions look like um, for everybody else, What's best for you, your wants, your needs, your desires, um, your household changes, your job changes, um, that's going to impact most um, your ability, your interest, and whether or not it's the right time for you to buy or sell a house. So I'm available. Um, I am working uh, through this. I am available by phone, text, email, video meeting, and in-person meetings when necessary um, to help you figure that out, to help you figure out if it's still the right time to buy or sell uh, real estate and to make a move. Um, if you are looking at buying right now, um, I would suggest you no. Know, we can get out there. We can look at homes. Um, if you are buying but you're not sure of the timeline because of current events, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I would recommend that you take this time, though, to get prepared. Um, number one, reach out to a mortgage advisor. I highly suggest you connect with them. Get educated on where the market's at. Get education on the qualification requirements and where you stand um, in terms of that, what you can do to improve. Um, maybe get better rates in your mortgage, get better terms on your mortgage. Um, so if you're not ready to make a move just yet, but you're nearing that time, you want to be ready to go when it, the time is right, um, definitely connect with the mortgage advisor. If you need someone to talk to, I'd be happy to uh, connect you with someone uh, who is still working, uh, provides excellent customer service to do that. 
help guide you through that process. Also, reach out. Let me know what you're looking for. Um, houses are still coming in the market. Um, I'd love to help keep an eye out for you for the type of property that you're looking for. If you're looking to sell, um, again, we can get your house listed. We can still get on the market. There are buyers out there looking now. Um, if you want to sell but you're not sure on the timing, uh, we certainly have options for that. You know, I'd love to have a conversation with you, um, help understand what your concerns are. There's a lot of tools I have at my disposal that I want to make available to sellers. Um, you know, online shopping for homes is definitely big for buyers. 95% of buyers look for their next home online. Now it's more important than ever um, to get virtual tours, videos, great photos of your property so the buyers can see that online. Um, maybe limit the showings if that's what your concerns are. Um, but have still as many buyers see your home, feel your home as much as possible. Do some great internet marketing for your home to find that right buyer for it. Either way, you know, whatever you're thinking real estate, reach out. Let me know what your questions are. Um, I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions, talk through the process. Uh, over the coming days, I'm going to share a little bit more about how I'm specifically working with buyers, specifically working with sellers, some of the other small changes we've had in the real estate industry, um, overcoming some of the challenges that we're facing in the next couple of weeks. Um, so feel free to reach out anytime. Like I said, phone, text, and email. Uh, I'd be happy to talk to you. be happy to meet with you. Uh, talk a little bit more about what's best for you, your household, and help you uh, achieve that real estate transaction. Wish everyone the best. I uh, hope you're staying safe. And I look forward to helping you reach your real estate goals. Take care.